we want Mackay to be one of the best fishing locations in Australia and basically we've probably got the best freshwater barra fishery in Australia because we've got three dams chock-a-block full of barra, not just one. We've got something here that no other fish stocking group in Australia has got. This is unique. Um, we can spawn fish, we can grow out fish, um, you know, and the numbers of fish that we've produced and le released out of here speak for itself. It's paid for itself so many times. MAFSA was born out of a, an idea that I had after reading an article by uh, John Mondora. It was relating to a low-cost fish hatchery that had been developed up at Kinneroo Dam by the Tablelands Fish Stocking Society. And I thought, this is an idea, let's float it. So I managed to convince a couple of my friends that it was worth pursuing. And we called public meetings, got a good roll up and so forth. And then we had to have somewhere to, to build a hatchery. And then uh, one of our members, Noel Jewell, he talked to Rob Simmons, who owned all this farm. And uh, Rob said, come and put it down here. So we drew up a formal lease agreement and uh, the lease is for a dollar a year if asked for. It's never been asked for. We actually did all the concreting, did all the footings, erected the shed and everything ourselves, just all volunteer labour. Um, you know, and that's one thing that MAFS has always been. You know, we just sort of, if there's something that needs to be done, we figure out a way of doing it. Surprisingly, the first fish that we ever caught to put in a hatchery to spawn, spawned, and we thought, how easy is this? So we had an open day. I opened up the hatchery, we had people coming in, they're admiring all their little tiny sooty grunter that were at that stage about 10, 12 mil long. And we thought, oh, this is just so easy. That was on a Sunday morning. By Monday afternoon, the whole lot were dead. Uh, we'd managed to kill the lot. So we thought, hmm, maybe this isn't quite so easy after all. Anyway, so, Long story short, we learnt by a lot of our mistakes over the years, we refined our techniques, we got better filtration equipment and so forth. All of a sudden we started to blossom and have more and more success. We were still having our failures of course because we're a volunteer group, none of us are biologists. Um, we learn by our mistakes, you know, but overall, uh, I'd have to say now, with the equipment that we've got and the expertise in inverted commas that we now have, we're confident that we can get probably 70% of what we've got. We can grow out and stop it. So you don't really need any experience. You don't need any particular expertise. Basically, anyone can come along. We've got, you know, 12 year old kids who are our members. Every morning and every night, the fish have to be fed. The tanks have to be cleaned out. The fish, once a week, have to be graded because otherwise they start to cannibalise and eat each other. And, you know, it's, it's like anything that you do for nothing. You're doing it for the common good, you get a kick out of it. And, you know, it's one thing that we, we try to instill, instill in our younger members, you know. This is not so that you've got a little private fishery. This is for everybody. What we do here is for our whole community. MAFS has always been community based, community minded, and hopefully always will be primarily a community based organisation. This facility here, we use it as an education tool. We have school groups come through, scouts, girl guides, whoever. Anyone who rings us up and says, you know, I've got a group of kids, can we come and have a look in the hatchery? Sure thing, bring them down. And one of the things that we always tell kids is, if you've got healthy water, you must have a healthy environment, because you can't have healthy water in an environment that's not healthy. So, frankly, the more people we see catching them, gives us an, probably gives us just as big a buzz as what it gives the people who catch the fish. Because we look at them and we think, oh, that was one of our little babies. Look at that, how cool. Uh, uh, warms the cockles of your heart, so it's just it's just a great feeling, and you know you've achieved something. With MAFSA, we can always point to 
an achievement. We've actually produced a result. To be able to go out and say to a sponsor or to anyone, we have actually produced one million fish out of this hatchery that wouldn't be there. That's, that's a pretty fair statement to make and if you think it's a bit boastful on my part, you're dead right because I'm real proud of that. And because I've seen right from day one the amount of heart and soul that people have put into this place. But every single person that's ever been in MAFSA has made a contribution to what are three brilliant dam fisheries and the fishery in the Pioneer River, our freshwater fishery. So every single person has contributed in some way or other. Um, we raise funds through the INDT World Sooty Championship, Jungler. That's our primary fundraiser. Uh, we also get allocation of funds through the Government Stock Impoundment Permit Scheme. We get some funding from the Council, uh, which we're really grateful for. The council, current Council have been fantastic because we are very much an integral part of their recreational fishing strategy that they have uh, developed and they actually have a council policy to further recreational fishing in Mackay and to attract people to the area. So MAFSA will also continue to live up to our motto, MAFSA for a better fishing future. That's my closing line. Once I start mate, you can't stop me.